you gather some flowers for an arrangement on your kitchen table, you may want to consider adding them to your plate. Joining me at the Iowa Arboretum is Linda Nay from ISU. And Linda, tell us more about these edible flowers. Well, you know, people have used edible flowers for centuries. They've used them in uh, ice cubes floated in punch bowls or in water glasses. They've used them in salads as a decor or simply to improve the appearance and the uh, presentation of a dinner plate. They've used nasturtiums, flowers like pansies and other things. Now, I would think you'd have to be careful about the types of flowers. You really do. You have to make sure that the flower you use, whether it is just for presentation or to actually eat, is edible. Um, there's a list of flowers that's available, but you can choose from pansies, roses, dianthus like I have here, and in patience you can go with begonias, you can go with nasturtiums, just a number of different flowers, and daylilies are edible. Do you have to be careful with the store-bought ones? You do have to be careful with the florist bought flowers. You don't want to use those as edible flowers, and you certainly don't want to use plants that you've just bought from the garden center or dug up from your lawn or in the ditches or things like that where there's a possibility of spray. So grow your own and enjoy the, them in your garden and then harvest them when you need them. How about the harvesting? Any tips? Well, you want to harvest them early in the morning while they're still fresh and there's still some dew on them. and go in and wash them off, make sure you don't have any hitchhiking insects on them or any telltale signs of soil, pat them dry, and then they're ready for use. All right, bon appetit. And if you would like more information on edible flowers, be sure to log on to gardeninginthezone.com. I'm Liz Gilman.